Hi, my name is Kai and I'm an operator of a big smart home community in Germany. I'm also a developer of a lot of custom extensions, especially for the Gira X1 device. And in this video, I will show you how to record data on your Gira X1 and how to visualize them as attractive charts. This is my first YouTube video in English, so I hope you like it. Let's go. So the first thing is to download the custom extensions from my Gira X1 App Store. My German followers already know I'm an operator of my own App Store and you will find it with www.smarthome-appstore.de. At the moment it's only available in German, but I'm working on a translation in English as well. And if you scroll down, you will find this extension here, which has a little chart on it and it's called in German Logik Baustein Wertaufzeichnung. And this is the one you want. So just click on it and go through the regular checkout process to download it to your computer. After you have successfully downloaded the extension, you can start your Gira Project Assistant and you can open the project where you want to add the functionality. For my case, I have a project called Splendid Minds, which is my company, and I will open that to show you how to use the logic node within your project. First step is very simple. We have to install the extension. So you go to the logic editor and you go to add logic nodes, where you can select the file which you have downloaded before. So I will call add logic nodes and I have a lot of logic nodes here because I'm the developer and I have a lot of things to test. And you chose the zip file which you have just downloaded and add to your project. In my case, the file is already added so it shows you have already added the file but in your case it will be successfully added to the project and it is available to your use. The next step is to add a logic page. So I will add a logic page just for this video and I will call it YouTube Video English. Engli English, oh my God. And um, within that, I will show you how to use the logic node. So with the installation of the zip file you just downloaded, you get three nodes. Two we will show today because we only look at the chart function. The node is able to do a lot of more functions, but this is not the topic of today. Today we will only show about how to record some information and how to visualize them as a chart. So first one which is um, required for your case is the Splendid Minds record value which is available in the section outputs. This one is recording data which is put to this input to the local storage on the Gira X1 device. So you want to connect some data with this input. So I will choose some input and let's say I will choose the temperature in my home uh, temp so this for example is the temperature in my guest room and um, I will just connect it to the input from record value. And it is very uh, important that record value is put to on. So it is really recording the history to your device. The second thing is you have to give a specific input number and it has to be unique in your project. So just you can start by one and count up to 10, 20, whatever. Or you can have some logic like, yeah, this is 100 and the other one's 200. You can do it however you want. Just it needs to be unique in your whole project. So I will make just one because it's very simple and we don't want to make something special. 
I will make a second one um, because I want to show you later a little bit how it's working. So um, I will make a second one. I will connect it again. This one will be our input number two. Uh, it is also recording, of course, and we will make another temperature. Um, I have a lot of temperatures available. Let's take the outside temperature. And so I have the guest room and I have the outside temperature and both of the informations will be recorded. So next step is to make them available as a custom visualization, especially as a chart. And for that one, you got another logic node, which is called um, web server. So you can just put this one to your project and this makes the custom visualization available. You don't need to make a lot of um, changes here. The pre-configuration is pretty fine. Um, today we anyway only talk about the charts so you can leave everything like you want. Um, there are only two things you have to do. First thing is to enter a license key. Second thing is um, if it is required uh, to enter the IP address from the GRX one. But uh, let's start with the um, IP address uh, with the license key. I'm sorry. So if you scroll down within the app store um, to the very bottom of the of the pro uh, of the document, you will find a license key which is good as a demo. It is available till the end of April 2023, and it allows you to use it for free to try it out. So this is step number one, and usually this is enough. If you don't use DNS with your GRX one, if you have put a static IP, it might be that the web server is not working. If this is the case, please go to the configuration again and enter the IP address from your GRX one device. For example, in my case, it's uh, 192, 168, 103. Um, again, this is only required if it's not working with the other configuration. Um, usually if you lose uh, DNS services, it should work also without the IP, but feel free to enter it anyway. It doesn't make a difference. So, that's it already and we can uh, commission it to our gearways one device um, i will do now and i will show you how it looks like my device is ready and of course i let it run a little bit so we record some information so i want to show you something in my browser now first of all i want to prove that the IP address I just mentioned is my Gira X1 device. Now to go to the custom visualization, just use the IP address of your device, but you add uh, the port uh, 13,000, then put charts and then put series.html question mark E, which is means input is one. And as soon as I enter that, the GWX1 device will render me some charts um, where I can look how the history of my device was. And I have several values now, which I have recorded over time. So I can go, for example, for input number two, and you see different data, different information. The Gira X1 device will directly show it to my browser. Of course, you can also put more than one information in the same chart. So you can enter one separator two, and you will have both information within your chart. And now you see this is already made nice, but there are some things you might want to customize and for that there are parameters as well. First thing, 
he has written input one, input two, but this is not a very good name. So you can put another parameter and it's called L means label. And I can say the label is, um, these ones are my, my heating temperature. And the second one is my water temperature. And as you can see now the chart changes and shows these labels updated. Another thing um, which I want to change is that I always wanted to start by zero. I don't want to start it by uh, 20, uh, 26 because um, maybe it's a temperature I want to see how high it is. So you can put uh, y min uh, is zero and you see there is zero base now, which the chart changes a little bit. Um, you can see here that there are some weird numbers because the chart thinks this is the best scale this I should do. Um, if you want to make it a little bit more clean, you can put y nice scale and s is one and you see that now it's 0, 20, 40, 60, 80. And you can do another thing if you also want to remove this zeros, you can do digits is zero. Um, I'm sorry, it's the digits of this axis. And so you see now it's 0, 20, 40, 60, 80. There are a lot of, a, a lot of parameters you can use and I'm describing all of them in the app store. As I just mentioned at the moment, only in German, but I will change and translate that to English as well. I also want to show you some other kinds of visualization. So let's just remove everything um, after the labels. Um, so it's just value one and value two and the two labels. And at the moment we have used series, which means it's a series of information which is collected and it's showed as a history where I can also go back some more days or whatever. But there are also other visualizations and for that we just need to change series, for example, to values. And you see now that it is not showed as a series anymore. It's showed as a value. And in this case, it showed as a pi. Um, so it show that this temperature, of course, this doesn't make sense at the moment at, at all. This temperature is 41.3% and the other temperature is 59%. You've seen it has updated now. Um, it's updating every 10 seconds. So, it just shows how this both information are, yeah, collected. You can also make another um, one which is called bar values. And if I call that, it shows as a bar. And you see again, it's the same values, it's the same labels, and it shows the amounts and how they are. Of course, you can not only make one and two. In my project, I've recorded a lot of more information, so I can also make three, four, whatever, and it will also put them to the chart and you can do visualization however you want. Let's go back to the series and you see that also here, it shows all of the information. Um, again, I can do, um, Epsilon zero is um, Epsilon min is zero, and you see all of the data: the red one, the the orange one, the blue one. Um, don't know where the blue one is at the moment. Ah, it's here. So you can build a very nice visualization for your GUIX one device. So thank you for watching my first YouTube video in English. I hope you liked the content. If so, just write it into the comments. 
If you like, you can come to our Gira X1 community on Facebook. We have also English speaking people. So if you have questions, if you have comments, feel free to join us. Thank you for watching today. See you next time. Bye.